my wonderful friends let's find the value of k since what we are looking for is the power the only way to get its value is to uh, take the log to base 10 of both sides of this equation or to take natural log of both sides of the equation but i will go for log to base 10 since this is just normal number not e all right so i'll introduce log to base 10 to both sides of the equation and this is what we are going to have now when you have log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a so that means that we can write this as k multiplied by log 9 is equal to log 90 okay so we are going to divide both sides of this equation by log 9 since you are looking for the value of k now the most interesting aspect of this video is where we prove that the answer is correct okay many of us can get this right but can we prove that the answer is correct so i would like to watch to the end and see how we did that or how we will do it so we are going to divide both sides by log 9 so divided by log 9 is equal to log 90 divided by log 9 okay now log 9 we divide itself so we have k is equal to log 90 divided by log 9 okay now we can say that k is equal to 90 in terms of 9 is 9 times 10 right so we have log 9 multiplied by 10 divided by log nine now when you see or according to the law of log reading when you have log a multiplied by b is equal to log a plus log b all right so we can write this as k is equal to log nine plus log ten divided by log nine now when you have a plus b divided by c this can be written as a divided by c plus b divided by c so we can write this as k is equal to log 9 divided by log 9 plus log 10 divided by log 9 so k is equal to this we divide itself to give us one so we are going to have one plus log 10 divided by log 9 all right now let us continue have you subscribed to the channel have you clicked your subscription button if this is the first time you're seeing us please do that and on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of your videos ever again okay we upload our videos every day so tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video thank you very much so look at what we have so we have k is equal to 1 plus now 10 can be expressed as um 2 multiplied by 5. so we have log 2.5 2 multiplied by 5 divided by log 9. so k is equal to 1 plus so this will be log 2 plus log 5 everything divided by log 9 now we are going to distribute the denominator so if we do that we have k is equal to one plus so we have log two divided by log nine plus log five divided by log nine so we have that k is equal to one plus log two divided by now nine is same thing as three squared so we have log three squared plus log 5 divided by log 3 squared okay let's continue from here remember that we are going to prove that the answer we got is correct which is the most interesting aspect of this video okay so we have k is equal to 1 plus log 2 divided by now 2 we come to this side to give us 2 log 3 plus now here we have log 5 divided by 2 log 3 as well now this can be written as k is equal to 1 plus log okay half right multiplied by log 2 divided by log 3 plus half multiplied by 
log 5 divided by log 3. Now remember that when you have log A over log B, is actually equal to log A base B. Okay, so we write this as k is equal to 1 plus half log 2 base 3 plus half log 5 base 3. So this is the value of k. Now, let us prove that this answer is actually correct. Let us prove that the answer is right. So they said that 9 to the power of k, that is 9 raised to the power of 1 plus half log 2 base 3 plus half log 5 base 3. Let's see if this is actually equal to 90. Now recall the law of exponents or the law of indices that states that a raised to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So no matter the number of powers we have here, this is how we're going to express it. So we have this as 9 to the power of 1 multiplied by 9 to the power of half log 2 base 3 multiplied by 9 to the power of half log 5 base 3. Now is this equal to 90? So <laughs> we consider 9 to the power of 1 is 9. So we have 9 is, okay, multiplied by 9 now let's change this 9 to 3 to the power of 2 so that we can actually cancel out this half, right? So we have 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of half log 2 base 3. Now multiply by the same thing here, 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of half log 5 base 3. Now is this equal to 19? Remember that when you have a to the power of m times n, is actually a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, okay? That means that we can write this as 9 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 times the whole of this, which means that 2 can divide itself to the reverse 1. So we are just left with log 2 base 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of, we are going to apply the same we are going to do the same thing here. So this will divide itself to give us one. So we are just left with log 5 base 3. Log 5 base 3. Is this equal to 90? Okay. Now we have 9 multiplied by... Remember that when you have a to the power of log b base a. Once this base and this base are equal, then the whole of this is equal to b. Okay? Alright. So, if we consider that, that simply means that since this and this are equal, this will be equal to 2 multiplied by, since this and this are the same, this will be equal to 5. It's equal to 90. So, we have 9 times 2 times 5, which is 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 9 is 90. So you can see that 90 is equal to 90. See you in my next video.